Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Arjawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks from the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, marking the 50th anniversary of the Police Women Day. The Minister congratulated His Majesty the King on behalf of the Ministry and affirmed that His Majesty has always maintained a keen interest in women's police until it became an effective unit at the Ministry of Interior. He said that women's police has proven its capability and professionalism and has achieved leadership positions at the ministry and has become a contributing partner in the security apparatus. And the minister said that the anniversary proves that this is a modern and civilized state which looks forward towards further development in the future under the leadership of His Majesty the King, whose wisdom is a model to be emulated for its development and modernity. He expressed appreciation for the full and constant support of His Majesty for the ministry's caters and a firm commitment to performing the national duty of keeping the kingdom and its people secure and prosperous. The Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa of the Kingdom of Bahrain yesterday co-chaired a virtual meeting of the Saudi Bahrain Coordination Council. His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman highlighted the strength of the historic ties between the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Kingdom of Bahrain and extended his congratulations uh, to His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad on his appointment as Prime Minister, wishing His Royal Highness further success in implementing the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 and enhancing the Kingdom's economic growth and prosperity. His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman welcomed the establishment of the Council and its role in further strengthening bilateral relations. His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman highlighted that the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, continue to support developing comprehensive ties across all sectors. In this regard, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman noted that the Council will deepen cooperation across many areas, including political, economic, security, military, investment, developmental, cultural issues, pursuing common interests in accordance with the aspirations of the respective leadership and people. His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman further expressed his gratitude for the close coordination between the two countries on regional and international issues. Together, facing the challenges presented within the region and preserving the interest, security and stability of the two kingdoms. His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman expressed his confidence that the Council's first meeting, in which the organizational procedures for the work of the Council will be approved, will pave the way for successful outcomes and productive future meetings. His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad and their Excellencies, members of the Council, for the work undertaken in the preparation of the first meeting. In a speech delivered by His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness highlighted the directives of the custodian of the two holy mosques, which elevate the level of representation in the Saudi Bahrain Coordination Council, noting that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa welcomed the decision, which reflects the depth of the support and commitment to further enhance relations and cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad noted that these directives reflect the great value attached by the custodian of the two holy mosques and His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the special status of the ever-deepening Saudi-Bahraini relations. His Royal Highness extended his thanks to His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman, emphasizing his central role in advancing the multifaceted bilateral links between the two kingdoms to secure further mutual progress and prosperity for both countries and their people. His Royal Highness added that the two countries continue to build on their historic ties and celebrate the development of both nations. His Royal Highness noted that enduring ties have withstood time and paid tribute to the grandfathers who established the foundations of a sustainable development, cooperation and coordination between the two kingdoms. The establishment of the Saudi Bahrain Coordination Council will shape unified, prosperous futures for both nations. His Royal Highness further remarked that the countries will continue to work closely side by side to guarantee that the economies remain competitive, fair and open, creating a shared social and economic environment in which innovation creates opportunities for the future of all. His Royal Highness then expressed his best wishes that the Council will enjoy success in realizing further achievements for both kingdoms. During the meeting, the Council's agenda items and priorities were reviewed 
and the following decisions were taken. The formation of the following subcommittees to progress the Council's initiatives. Political Coordination Committee, Security Coordination Committee, Committee for the Fields of Economy, Energy, Trade and Industry Coordination Committee in the Fields of Culture, Media, Tourism and Social Development, Coordination Committee in the Fields of Investment, Environment and Infrastructure. The following joint statement was issued after the close of the meeting. Within the framework of the solid, fraternal and historical relations that bind the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Kingdom of Bahrain and their two brotherly people and based on the directives of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa of the Kingdom of Bahrain, the first meeting of the Saudi Bahrain Coordination Council was held under co-chairmanship of the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The meeting was attended by the Saudi side including the Minister of Interior Prince Abdul Aziz bin Saud bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Minister of Foreign Affairs Prince Faisal bin Farhan Al Saud the Minister of State and Member of the Cabinet, Dr. Isam bin Saad bin Saeed, the Acting Minister of Media, Dr. Majid bin Abdullah Al Qasabi, the Minister of Investment, Mr. Khaled bin Abdul Aziz Al Falih, the Minister of Finance and Acting Minister of Economy and Planning, Mr. Muhammad bin Abdullah Al Jadan. The Bahraini side comprised the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication, Kamal bin Ahmad Hamad, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Al Zayani, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Muayyad, and the President of the Prime Minister's Court and Secretary General of the Cabinet, Hamad bin Faisal Al Malki. His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa affirmed the great keenness of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa of the Kingdom of Bahrain, of consolidating the relations between the two countries in the various political, security, economic, commercial, investment, cultural, and tourism fields. They also affirmed that the solid bonds between the two brotherly countries are based on solid historical foundations, adding that the two countries will continue this approach to establish a bright future for more development achievements and prosperity of the two brotherly countries. During the meeting, the organizational procedure for the Council's work were approved, while the Council's subcommittees were formed. The two sides look forward to the Council's upcoming meetings to establish a common vision for strengthening and deepening the relations between the two countries in all fields in order to achieve the two wise leadership's aspirations of enhancing security and stability and supporting the development and economic process in the two brotherly countries. In the presence of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Vice President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, organized this afternoon the 8th horse race for the season on the club's racetrack in Rafa Sakhir. The race was also attended by a number of their highnesses and representatives of the sponsors of the race. It was held on the cups of the late Abdullah Ahmed Nas, the cups of the company, the Gulf City for Cleaning, the cup of the University of Applied Sciences and the cup of the Blue Dan Veterinaries Foundation. The race comprised eight events. At the end of the race, trophies were presented to the winners.
The Governor of the Southern Governorate, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, received the Secretary General of the National Initiative for Agriculture Sector Development, NIAD, Sheikh Maram bin Isa Al Khalifa, who presented the cup of His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the best environmentally friendly garden won by the Southern Governorate for the category of government institutions and governorates in its 54th edition of the annual competition of the Bahrain Garden Club. The Governor of the Southern Governorate affirmed that the Southern Governorate's winning of this qualitative award in the environmental field came as a result of implementing the sound directives of His Majesty the King by following up the development projects and upgrading public service facilities in the Kingdom of Bahrain and preserving the green environment and community resources, praising the continued and unlimited support of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for all efforts exerted to implement the visions of development and sustainable development. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa also extended his same gratitude for the great support of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, Chairperson of the Advisory Board of the National Initiative for the Agricultural Sector Development, for her support, generous care and contributions in preserving natural sites and developing the Kingdom of Bahrain's agriculture sector. He also noted that the follow-up and keenness of the Minister of the Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and his continuous encouragement to participate in initiatives that contribute to spreading the culture of community partnership in all the vital areas that affect citizens and residents. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs denied the Qatari authorities' claim that four Royal Bahraini Air Force fighter jets violated Qatar's airspace. The ministry affirmed that the claim by Qatar is a false and irresponsible allegation. The ministry said that on the 9th of December, two F-16 fighter jets along with two others from the U.S. Air Force were engaged in a joint exercise in Saudi Arabia's airspace that ended at 3.50 in the afternoon when the four jets combined and entered into the kingdom's airspace to land in the Isa Air Base. The statement denied that the jets have entered into Qatari airspace on their way back into the kingdom and affirmed that the Bahrain Royal Air Force is precise and professional in its conduct so as to ensure not to approach the airspace of other countries. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Azayani, praised the outcome of the first meeting of the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council which was shared by the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Minister said that the two countries are connected with deep-rooted historical ties which, look them, which took them forward an advanced level of cooperation on all levels thanks to the keen interest of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. 
The minister said the meeting yielded the formation of five coordination committees that will be strong enablers to further develop the bilateral ties in order to ensure further development and prosperity. The Minister of Information Ali bin Mohammed al ramehi praised the outcome of the first meeting of the Saudi Bahrain Coordination Council, which was chaired today by the Crown Prince Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Minister said that the Council is an important step towards the unification and strategic partnership between the two countries on the highest level. The Minister affirmed that the Coordination Council enjoys the full support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, as it represents an important pillar of the deep rooted bilateral ties, which he said represents a model to be emulated in terms of Gulf Arab and Islamic nations based on the commonality of religion, language, family, ties, and common faith. The minister expressed optimism on the success of the Coordination Council, as chaired by their Royal Highnesses, the two Crown Princes, and the created five Coordination Committees. The minister said, the Council will further enhance the depth of the bilateral ties in the political, security, economic, investment, tourism, cultural, and information fields, which reflects the unity of the vision of the two countries and their diplomatic stances in order to meet the aspirations of the two countries' people in their security, stability, and prosperity. He affirmed Bahrain's pride under the leadership of His Majesty the King and its constant keenness to continuously enhance its ties with Saudi Arabia, which represents the first guarantor of its security, stability, and development, and the top political, economic, and commercial partner the pillar of stability, wisdom, and moderation in the world, and the foremost servant of Islam and Muslims. In view of the high turnout of citizens and residents at health centers to receive the COVID-19 vaccine, and in order to ensure compliance with all precautionary and safety measures, the Ministry of Health has announced that the halt of vaccination through walk-in service. Citizens and residents should continue to register online for a vaccination appointment by visiting the website healthalert.gov.ph. The online portal enables those registering to select their preferred health center and the type of vaccine they wish to receive free of charge. The Ministry of Health renewed its call for all the citizens and residents to register to receive the vaccination, which protects individuals, their families, and the community. The vaccinations operate by stimulating the body's immunity system to produce antibodies that resist COVID-19. The government secured vaccinations for citizens and residents to preserve the health and safety of everyone following analysis of all available data and approval by the National Health Regulatory Authority. And the Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 1,757 with 137 recoveries and 253 registered new cases. 121 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 115 are contacts of active cases, and 17 are travel-related. The Ministry of Health also announced the death of an 85-year-old male citizen from COVID-19 and expresses its condolences to the family of the deceased. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.